Hey everyone, welcome back to Gannet Reviews, where today we're looking at a very unique boat. If I mentioned a 35 foot trawler yacht, I'm willing to bet you weren't thinking twin gas outboards and being available to be towed on a road going trailer. But that's exactly what we have here with this 2018 Great Harbour TT35. One advantage to being on the trailer is you get to see the profile of this boat, which you don't normally see on this channel. And that includes the new proportional bow thruster that's been installed. And by proportional bow thruster, what I mean is it's not necessarily on or off, left or right, um, but you can actually do this in a gradual way, um, so it's not full power every time you touch the button. And this gives you more control. And I'll show you the controls when we get inside, but you can actually lock it in place. So if you're doing single-handed maneuvers, you can basically pin it against the pontoon, lock the bow thruster, and then that gives you a chance to secure your ropes. As we make our way to the stern of this boat, you'll see that it's powered by twin 60 horsepower, four-stroke Suzuki outboard engines. These engines have got less than 100 hours on the clock, and they'll give you a maximum speed of up to 19 knots. And if you notice, the outboards are actually spaced further apart than most boats of this size. And what that means is that you can then use these in the traditional way with twin engines um, when it comes to close quarter maneuvers. And you can make this spin in its own length. I like how on this boat, the aft transom actually folds down and it becomes water level. So if you were looking to go fishing or diving, if you were looking to go swimming, if you were looking to board a tender or anything like that, I doubt there's a boat out there that's got better access than what this offers. It also makes it very easy to get on board while it is on the trailer as well. As we make our way through to the bow, you'll see we've got this solid black rubber rub line throughout the boat. And there's also the ability to secure fenders to the grab rails that's along the top of the coach roof. So the boat can always be well protected. And as you make your way towards the bow, you can see that it still has the same Great Harbour design to it, including the little porthole windows on either side. You get the solid grab rails throughout the bow section. And then you can see you've got the anchor hanging over the front as well. But we'll go up on the deck later and I'll show you that from that perspective. And this can be towed without needing any CDL endorsements on your license. Um, you do have to have permits and because of the wide load, but this can be towed under your regular driver's license. And as we step on board here, the aft cockpit has got seating area. I'm thinking it's probably got somewhere between four and six adults can sit back here. Well, it's very comfortable seating and it's got a solid bimini top over the top so it helps protect you from the element. And then underneath these seats is actually a large storage area. And in some of these boats you can actually fit a generator under here if you wanted to. Mm. And these cushions can easily be removed if needed and they can be stored elsewhere. You'll see it's got the large cleats on the stern. It's got fishing rod holders. And then I'll make my way around the side. And if you're ever gonna fall overboard, make sure you do it on the water, don't do it on land. And then you can see here on the roof, we've got solar panels through pretty much the, the aft half of the boat. And this keeps all the batteries topped up, but it allows you to run things on board where you're at anchor and you can even use this boat kind of like an RV type thing you can use it on land without having to be connected to any sort of shore power it's a very self-sufficient boat and it's got the grab rails all the way through it's got a couple of steps up to the bow and then you can see we've got a clear bow deck space up here Everything's to the extreme side, the cleats are out of the way, and the actual passageways you're walking along because it's as narrow, it's got pop up cleats. And then on the bow, you can see we've got the windlass. This can be operated from 
both the deck, but it can also be operated from the helm. And this has got a delta plow anchor with 25 feet of galvanized chain and approximately 200 feet of rope. And as you look aft, you can see just how beamy this boat is for its size and how the accommodation takes almost the full width of that beam. And I like how it's got the door at the helm so that it's easy to get on and off when you're maneuvering the boat, especially if you're doing it single-handed. And then this takes you by to the aft cockpit. As you head inside, you can see that you've got full standing headroom throughout, and I'm around about six foot two, six foot three. And you start off with the galley on the starboard side. And each of the drawers and cabinets that you see here, everything locks in place. So if this was either being towed on the road or if this was out in any sort of swell, everything's going to remain in place. And the galley's got a two burner Kenyan induction cooktop. And the one thing I like about this is whenever you turn it off, it instantly goes cool. And the covering that you see on the top here, it is kind of like a non-slip. So all your pots and pans or whatever, it's going to stay in place. But if for whatever reason you were to put your hand on here when you're walking by, you wouldn't get burned because you'd be protected from it. So neat safety feature. And we also have got a microwave convection oven. And you have got a 10 cubic foot refrigerator with a separate freezer. So that allows you to keep all your groceries here to allow you for extended cruising. This boat makes some great use of the storage space available. Everywhere you look, they've utilised the space to its full capacity. And there's even been examples of the TT35 that's now been used as full-time liveaboard use. And as you walk through this boat, it's easy to see how that could be possible, especially for like a couple. And opposite the galley is where you'll find the heads compartment. And again, you've got the full standing headroom in here. But you've got plenty of room to maneuver. So you can imagine if you were taking a shower or something like that, there's plenty of space in here. I'm not going to be beating up your elbows every time you turn around. And you've got storage lockers in here. Everything's also designed to be low maintenance, easy to clean, easy to maintain. As well as giving you privacy, of course, when on board. In the heads compartment, it's got a Raritan Marine Elegance. It's got the electric toilet system. This has got a waste tank as well as an overboard pump. And you're looking at approximately 58 gallons of fresh water on board, and the holding tank itself is 28 gallons. And then as you move forward towards the bow, you'll see in the port side we've got the saloon area. And this has got a central table which folds out. And this actually drops down and can be used as an extra berth if needed, and with then fill cushions as well. I like the fact that when I was sitting in this area, it was very bright and airy, both with natural light and also with um, artificial lights above. And as you see here, the seat can be used so that it can be part of the dining area and the saloon area or the backrest can pop up in the other direction and that allows you to be forward facing. There's a little space up here that could be used for navigation charts as well. You've got a little light over it. And we've also got a seat on the other side as well. So you're probably looking, I'm thinking six adults between the three seating areas. And overhead you'll see we've got the air conditioning unit. And this is marine grade. It allows you to keep the boat cool regardless of the outside conditions. And then on the starboard side is where the main helm position is. And again you've got this opening hatch which allows plenty of ventilation as well as ease of access. And then 
you can see here we've got the engine controls as well as the windless controls. The electronic equipment includes the Garmin 12 inch touchscreen chart plotter display. And this has got the radar and autopilot built into it as well. You get the full engine instrumentation displayed on the Garmin chart plotter. You got a Garmin VHF radio. You get a depth sounder. You got a fusion stereo and that's got four speakers throughout the boat. And the steering has got a hydraulic steering to it, just to make that easier for you. And you've also got a Ritchie magnetic compass as well. As you make your way down to the master stateroom, this is where you'll find a full-size queen bed with a memory foam mattress. There's also hanging locker space in here. And in some of the TT35s, there's actually enough space in here that you can put a washer dryer if you wanted to. And you'll find there's also drawers underneath the bed. There's overhead LED lighting and you've got the opening stainless port lights with the screens. There's four of them in total. And we also have the main control panel in here. As you can see everything's clearly labelled. So it's very easy to understand what to switch on or off and also to make sure you get enough power going through to everything you need. To make your way aft, I just want to point out that there's plenty of storage underneath the seating areas as well. But for the real storage on this boat is Great Harbour's tradition where they've got the storage right here at the aft underneath the floor. And then when we lift the hatch up, you see you can put ropes in here, you can put defenders in here. Um, you can even do things like if you wanted to, you could have a folding bike, something along those lines. And this actually goes underneath the floor as well, forward. So there's plenty of storage space in there. This boat was designed and built. It was first launched in 2018. It was designed for the Great Loop. And unfortunately, the owner is unable to complete that trip due to ill health. Um, and it is now currently available for sale, or at least at the time of this recording. And it's available through Eric Craft from Great Harbour themselves. And I'd like to thank Eric for the opportunity to review this boat. And I'd like to thank you for your time and watching the video. And I look forward to catching you on the next one. Thanks everyone.